I believe in God and the scientific method. They are two different regions of my belief. This isn't a deep thought. This is going to be a good thread. Time for popcorn. Can you elaborate one what kind of God? What characteristics does this God have? Which God? None of them are real but humor my anti-religious ass for a bit. For me they are one in the same. The same thing. And the person who sums with up well for me is none other than Swami Vivekananda. An absolutely incredible being. I always just though the scientific method was how God created the earth. Likewise and this our better understanding of how God did these amazing things. When it was explained to me that no. These two thoughts don't mix. Well I stopped believing one of them. What if someone used the scientific method to unequivocally disprove the existence of any God? How would you react? There is a reason why over 90 of the top scientists do not believe in Godess. One either trusts the scientific method which requires rigorous proof or one thinks that faith in a hypothesis is good enough. I don't believe in either. Science requires no belief. It's all about doubt and proof. Yup. Both of those. No popcorn needed. If you guys like to inquire deeply into the nature of being, you may enjoy our Arja Yoga as well. Sorry if this is too promo a. Eh? Many of humanity's most brilliant scientists were religious. Insane people in religions and the scientific community give their respective sides awful reputations. Absolutely nothing wrong with following science and following God. Religion has been the dominant manipulative force in Western society for centuries, now science is the new state religion. I freely believe the universe, and life by extension, is obviously the product of a scientifically explainable series of events, and that mankind through the scientific method has a pretty good, if imperfect, grasp on what is going on around us in the universe. But what gives me pause, and makes a tiny part of me believe in an indifferent higher power is the fact that anything exists at all. It is why I call myself an agnostic instead of an atheist. How my university bio professor, an atheist, broke it down science deals with empiric evidence of natural phenomena, religion is supernatural and therefore does not have empiric evidence. By virtue of this, one does not preclude the other without the intervention of human ego. When you actually study natural science closely, with real scientific methods rather than obscure speculation and unproven hypothesis, the complexity of life and creation makes things like mere chance or a big bang, where such highly advanced complexity and precision came from nothing, seemingly impossible. God is fantasy thinking. And faith is the way to stop you thinking logically. The two will merge one day. The Catholic Church has been doing both for centuries. 1. I value the testing and proving of the hypotheses. I can see this process as a reality. I benefit from this method for my living. 2. Even though the reality of God can't be proven, the methods of religion are not scientific in nature and the convincing logic that we are all physical beings whose brains are producing the concept of God, I still believe in God. Let's discuss. Fair warning I'm complex but I've thought it out. Let's discuss how you are God. Scientifically you are just energy only existing here and now in a biodegradable vessel and that energy can be labeled as anything. If you believe in God, then it would seem like you would believe that he created the scientific method. Frankly, as an atheist agnostic, I am fine with this as long as you admit there is no scientific proof for God and you don't try to contort poor evidence as proof. Faith, by definition, is belief despite evidence. If one wants to believe despite evidence then so be it. I can't stand attempting to find proof around every corner to bolster their faith. I had a young earth creationist as a teacher in Catholic HS and it was super frustrating to listen to her. Science is God's gift. We often misuse it by missing its point. I don't get why people think science and belief in God conflict with each other. Probably because people have the misconception that God is a supernatural being. The truth is the supernatural would conflict with the all-knowing nature of God. 
because the supernatural would be something that cannot be explained. If God couldn't explain something then he wouldn't be all-knowing and thus not God. What is God to you? I'm not being facetious, genuine question. It's totally fine to believe in both. If you go deep enough you'll realize there are a crap ton of things in the world that cannot be explained for now. It's totally logical to think that there might be an entity behind all these. Ruling out the possibility that an entity higher than us is purely arrogance and stupidity, just like the people who blindly follow their religions. I'd advise you actually look around for little details in the world. You'd be amazed. And also I would recommend you to study other religions out there. May you find your answer and peace. Good luck. The Scientific Method to Proving the Existing God It's the best way to view the world. Wow, this is so deep. I bet Stephen Jay Gould would have never thought to write about this. Is this cognitive dissonance? Cue the guy with the butterfly meme. But really, is it? You know how people got the idea of God? Not the scientific method. Thank you all for your messages for and against. I'm enjoying the discussion and I'm glad I sparked an interest. Same tbh. Honestly thought it was common. Those two can't coexist. You only believe in God, not the scientific method. Scientific method is really just a way to test and confirm a theory, you don't have to believe in scientific ways of how the universe works to believe in the scientific method, I hope people who believe in God know this.